A week ago, we spoke with a Sudanese woman by the name of Dalia Abdelamanim. At the time, she was in Khartoum, afraid, certainly fearful, but not quite sure if she should leave. Today, we learned that Dalia and her family are now safe in Port Sudan, but the 26-hour journey was certainly a harrowing one. Our house was hit by a missile, and, and the missile didn't go off. It just went through the roof, and it's just we think it's still there in the house. So that became no longer a safe option. We had to move out. So we were managed, we, uh, some friends, uh, family friends, managed to evacuate us from our house the next day. Because the day the rocket hit, literally the RSF had soldiers all over our block. They had taken over a house behind us. They had taken over another building. So we couldn't move. And they had also... Um, stripped down our cars they've taken our petrol they they tried to hotwire the the cars so they ruined it so we couldn't leave we were stuck but these two guys they just called us like we're coming tomorrow to pick you up and we're taking you to a safe place and that's what they did at huge risk to themselves because it was easier to leave than to go into our area and then leave again but they did it and for that i'm forever in debt to them Thank goodness for that fortunate ending there. She went on to say that it's certainly a blessing to be out of Khartoum, but that she is worried about those who cannot afford to flee.